Types of DC breakers most commonly used in solar energy system to protect batteries and solar panels. The energy generated or stored by solar panels and batteries is DC energy, direct current. Every source that enters or exits the system must be protected with a breaker, since you must have access to disconnect it in case of emergency or maintenance. In a solar energy system, breakers or thermal magnetic circuit breakers are essential to protect equipment, cables, and prevent fires. Today I'm going to explain which breakers are most commonly used in solar systems and what each one is used for. The first type is the DC breaker, used between the solar panels and the charge controller or hybrid inverter. These breakers must be specifically designed for direct current because the electrical arc in DC is much harder to extinguish than in AC. They are typically rated from 20 to 100 amps. You should calculate 20 amps per string, and the best voltage rating for panel breakers is 1,000 volts DC. In solar panel strings connected in parallel, this is where the greatest caution is required. Because every time you add a string in parallel, the amperage or current of the circuit increases, which makes it necessary to use a higher amperage breaker. You should never mix panels with different voltages or wattages in the same string. We also use DC breakers between the battery bank and the inverter. Why is the electrical arc in DC larger and more dangerous than in AC? In DC, there is no zero crossing. Alternating current changes polarity 60 times per second in the US. Every time it passes through zero volts, the arc naturally extinguishes. In DC, the current is constant and never drops to zero. The arc remains active and is much harder to put out. The DC arc is longer and more stable. In AC, the arc tends to extinguish quickly. In DC, it can persist, extend, and continue consuming metal, burning terminals, breakers, and fuses. That's why a DC arc can continue even when the contacts are separated by several millimeters. Their function is to disconnect the battery bank in case of maintenance or overcurrent. Likewise, if any battery in the bank begins to overheat, the breaker for the entire bank will trip to isolate it. Subscribe to our solar energy channel and like this video. Your questions help us create better solar content. Like, share, and subscribe to help this channel grow.